Hey y'all, it's Margaret. And Bradley. With the 2020 pandemic in full swing, the world in lockdown mode, and work life in flux, we decided to make margaritas out of the limes we were dealt. So we bought a 1973 houseboat in Minnesota with plans to boat it down the Mississippi River to our home in New Orleans. So grab your life vest and your beverage of choice. We assure you it will be one wild ride. coffee in the captain's parlor with these wonderful views snuggly blanket and getting to look outside how beautiful feel the time and the space between it's a thousand miles been so spoiled to have days like this consistently on the front end of our trip uh, you don't even realize what good weather really is until you get to the bad weather and then, then it makes you extremely appreciative we were already enjoying it soaking it up oh this is lovely but yesterday we were going head on into 20 mile an hour winds water was just sheeting the boat water's coming in from everywhere we we're just banging running both engines burning fuel um, so when you got a 75 degree day with a south wind about eight miles an hour at your back pushing you, water super calm. Um, this is the dream right here. I hope I hope we cover 50 plus miles today. Just to take advantage of it. We can go up on the flybridge here shortly and soak it in. And just have a great day on the boat because on that note, it's supposed to rain the next 36 hours starting tonight so we actually we need to cover some ground so that way if we need to dock it for a day we can so we'll see Crying 
16, this is Pleasure Craft headed southbound, looking for a time estimate. So this lot right here, lot 16, I thought... Yeah, lot 16 back to the southbound Pleasure Craft. Uh, yeah, lock 16. We're looking for a time estimate. If you want to stay with Skipper, do you want to come in and lock through? Uh, yes, we'd like to come through. Do we? Is the auxiliary open or do we need to go through the main? Uh, we do not have an auxiliary. We only have a main. All right, well then, uh, yeah, we'd like to come through the main. Okay, sir. I'll get her open up for you. When I blow the horn, just come on in. Roger that. Nice use of Roger. Yeah, so <laughs> what I was about to say is I finally found, I've been going to each state and I've been pulling the charts, which pulls them per the lock, which they call them a pull. So north of every lock, that's the pull number. So this is lock 16 we're technically in pool 16 right now and so I've been pulling maps and downloading them by lock which has been kind of tedious trying to find them get my internet to work and pull them and it's been just the charts so I finally found the oh look this boat I guess he liked my radio call He's zoom on through me huh um, so anyway I finally found the Army Corps of Engineers full book of charts. It shows every lock and it shows um, the width, the depths, a uh, little explanation behind the lock, as well as every bridge, which we've been needing because we've had some close calls going through some uh, some drawbridge, train tracks, you know, just going underneath them without having them pulled open. And on that um, Army Corps of Engineers, it shows these locks, and so some of them will say, auxiliary locks which is what we never knew and we haven't experienced there's only been two out of the 12 we've gone through or however many we've gone through and this one said auxiliary locks so i was trying to be smart and act like i knew what i was doing but it, it blew up in my face so whatever at least we're getting to come up here if this ski boat doesn't just come in too too quick and fast i think 17 has an auxiliary lock We'll find out. TBD, later today. Lock and Dam number 16 is located in Muscatine, Iowa at mile marker 457.2. Shout out to Lock 16. Uh, we gave them a call. They had they opened it up for us. We rolled straight in, threw it, dropped us a line, opened the gates. I mean, that wasn't more than 15 minutes from calling them, pulling in and rolling out. That was. That was beautiful. We can make it to New Orleans. We get lock service like that. We're 455 in Muscatine. We're 456 like at this point, right before the bridge. And we will have to get through two more locks today, but... To make it to Burlington? Burlington is at 405. 404. So it's 50 miles. From here. It's 1 o'clock. So. so we're going at least 8 miles an hour. 8 times 6 is 48. So 6 hours. So that puts us there at like 7. And this is going to rain for 36 hours. You want to try to call that marina in Burlington? Sure. And now granted, it may put us there at 8 because of... The yeah, but that's fine with me. Five, so well, yeah, but they'll... Yeah, yeah. They give us a code or they do. 
But we call them as we get closer. I know I didn't choose, but the queen no more. Crying the blue. You're the wrong love. I know I didn't choose, but the queen no more. Lock 17, this is Pleasure Craft, headed southbound, looking for passage. Southeam back, keep it coming, Cap, we'll get ready. Roger that. Call me Captain. Heck yeah. Holla, holla, holla. I like the timing too, they're ready for us. Let's go kennel. Go kennel. Lock and Dam number 17 is located in New Boston, Illinois at mile marker 437. Bald Eagle sighting. They love the naked trees like that, supposedly. All right, coming up on Lock 18. Looks like we've got a pontoon anchored out waiting. I've heard on the radio a few times some barges, but just give them a shout anyway. Keep the tradition alive. Lock 18, Pleasure Craft, headed southbound, looking for a time estimate for passage. So I'm just running one engine right here. That's pretty much what we've been doing all trips, just alternating engines. So that's why I just have to pull back on one. How's that steering wheel working? Perfect. <laughs> Looks good. Why you hate? <laughs> no hate. Why you hate? No hate in this game. Come on. Probably wait. It looks like there's a barge in the lock now. Well, let's be lock number three today. I think that's a new record for us. Mm -hmm. The last two we just rolled through. Mad props lock 16 and lock 17. Heroes of the trip thus far. Buddy, what do you think? Huh? Hi. Are you ready to go through the third lock today? Yeah? Yeah? We get there, they're not responding to me. I oh, know. Lock 18, Pleasure Craft headed southbound, looking for a time estimate. Keeping out the white walkers. <laughs> Things you see on the Mississippi River. Is that like a house underwater? Or a shack? Is it made of wood or iron? I have questions. Waiting for lock 18. be our third lock of the day so hopefully we can get through this one the other two have been awesome currently waiting on lock 18 there was a huge barge that just went through you can see that blinking red light that means just stand by to not come through we're trying to get dinner ready hot dogs canned green beans dinner of champions while we get this, get through this lock. Time for dinner. We're gonna do it right here though. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna watch that, I'm gonna watch that lock. Yep. All right, well we got, we gotta okay. get eaten. Where's the mayonnaise ketchup? I had it on the back table. Does that hit the back table? No, it's sitting up here. I think I doubted. Okay, we got two of those. Perfect. Oh, it's and green. Shut up. Yep. All right. If you'll just put mayonnaise and ketchup on mine and keep it out of the steering wheel, I'll pull this anchor up now. Okay. Hot dogs, canned green beans. Uh, 
70 plus miles today, the most we've made. We're literally five miles from the town with Wi Fi and a marina so we can upload some videos. I could do my fantasy draft and we catch our third lock. And what about an hour and a half later? Yeah, about an hour and a half plus later, uh, we're getting through it. So, this is a good two hour delay, of course, right? We had it timed out too well, but. Yeah. We're on the river and we're on vacation. I'm on vacation. Ooh, hot. The other problem is that it's supposed to rain starting at like 8 o'clock tonight for the next 36 hours. So that was kind of another um, thought in going ahead and getting to a marina was make sure we were safe and secure for this big storm that's going to come through. This is southbound rope craft. Yeah, Skipper, uh, we'll just float you out in the middle unless you want to catch a line. What's the elevation drop? Six feet. Yeah, we'll float. Roger that. Yeah, they'll move quicker. So we're going to float. Floating is when you come through these uh, locks and you literally just kind of sit in the middle. The problem with a 43 foot houseboat, these waters, they churn because they're dropping at six feet in elevation. So that water pushes in, it's going to push the boat a little bit. So I have to run the motors just a bit. Typically, um, anything five feet or more, I don't like to float just because it's, it's too much work and gas you're burning. Uh, but considering that it's seven at night right now and 715 we got our draft we've got rain coming We're trying to get into a marina um, we'll go ahead and float hopefully it'll speed the whole process up yeah the rain's starting right now yeah it's raining right now lock and dam number 18 is located in gladstone illinois at mile marker 410.5 this is why floating is not real desirable because you got 15 mile an hour wind to push you in the wall and the waters are dropping but I can already see the water's dropped about a foot so they're doing it they're doing it quick they know we've been sitting here for two hours Yeah, but this 
is something. Okay, it's all right. I guess that's to go in there. Yeah. Should I not knock my motors back real quick? No, there's no way. This is a channel for barges. See, I think you gotta come around there and they said hit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it over here on the right. Right, but you see this wall? to confirm if this is the opening with this American flag. I mean, it looks like it. For some reason, the map doesn't have me on this opening. Yeah, that's gotta be it, right? I, I mean, I can't see that far and I got this shit blowing in my face now, but I think it's to the right of it. I think that's a dock. I think it's just to the right. The GPS is showing it. Yeah, that's the lighthouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But keep looking at the opening. Don't look away. Well, we hope we can, but that's it, baby. That's what I told you. The rock and the deal. I just need to see the spotlight's a game changer. Of course, I'm coming through on wind like a or two, so when I hit it, I got to hit it. He wants me to the far north. Yeah, I see him. Oh, there's my dock lights. Yeah, I, I got it. I'm just trying to navigate the wind. I'm gonna hit you pretty hard here. I can't get over to the right any longer. You got me? That's that's all I can do. Sorry. Can I come for tell what what kind of room do I have? Alright, that's good. Woo! Man, thank y'all for being here. Oh, nice. 
You're the mayor? Yeah. Wow. We're from New Orleans, Louisiana, so uh, you're very welcome.